thank you so much. He's running a Ryzen 5 3600 with a 6800 XT, 32 gigs of RAM on a B550 board, 1440p 27 inch 165 hertz monitor, upgrade to AM5 now or drop in a 5700X, 5800X 3D and wait till next year to do a full rebuild. Uh, the games are Baldur's Gate 3, Phantom Liberty and Starfield. Oh, he wants to be ready for Starfield. Adam and I need to take a walk. Adam, put your shoes <clears throat> on. Are you ready? I am ready. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. AM4 is a gift. Do not look a gift for, gift horse in the mouth. Ooh, okay. Adam comes in with a CPU upgrade question and provides use case and games that he is interested in playing. Adam says that he's running a Ryzen 5 3600 CPU with a 6800 XT GPU on 32 gigs of RAM on a B550 motherboard. His monitor is 1440p, 27 inch, 165 hertz. He wants to know if he should upgrade to AM5 now or drop in a 5700X, 5800X 3D um, or wait until next year to do a full rebuild. The games he plays are Baldur's Gate 3, Phantom Liberty, and then he wants to be ready for Starfield, the new game that's coming out. To everybody who wants to ask, ask us a question, this is a really good question. It lists current CPU, current GPU. It lists monitor. It lists refresh rate. Mm -hmm. It lists what he's interested in doing, and it lists the games he wants to play. That provides enough information to provide a useful answer because too often... Because if he had just said games, we wouldn't know that Starfield would be one it, of the I mean, games. is it Rainbow Six Siege or Starfield? These are... Two different. They're both technically games, but that's like saying a Toyota Corolla and a Lamborghini are cars. They are, but... One is not like the other. Yeah. So thank you, Adam, for the detailed uh, question. Okay. AM4 is a gift. Do not look a gift horse in the mouth. You're talking about 5700X and the 5800X 3D. Yes. He currently has an AM4 board, and he's got a nice... He's got a B550. He's got a six core, 12 thread, non X3600. It's a good CPU, but not for 1440p, 165 hertz, and not for those games. Baldur's Gate 3, uh, Phantom Liberty, which is the cyberpunk expansion, and Starfield are the last bloody games you should be playing on a 3600. When you have a drop in CPU upgrade, that is five minutes that can increase your core count, yep. increase your clock speed, yep. and increase your instructions per clock cycle. Yep. Your rise, to, not just to Adam, but to everybody else watching. Correct. The Ryzen 5 3600 is actually two three-core CPUs. Yeah. It's Zen 2 with an Infinity Fabric link between two three-core CPUs. Correct. The 5700X and the 5800X 3D are an eight-core monolithic chiplet with no core-to-core -core latency issues, Correct. and the entire L3 cache is unified between all the cores, mm -hmm. where his L3 cache on his uh, 3600 is split between the two three-core chips. Correct. It is a raw compute improvement of about 20%. It will be a latency improvement, especially on a 165 hertz screen. It will be a 1% low improvement by going both to Zen 3 and to 8 cores for those games. Not all games need 8 cores. Those games, you should have 8 cores. And it takes 5 minutes to upgrade. Why would you spend all the money? AM5 is expensive. The motherboards for AM5 are expensive. expensive. You have to move to DDR5 RAM. Yep. It is a complete rebuild. You're ripping your motherboard out. You have to rewire your case, make sure your power supply, make sure your ATX power cables, your mm -hmm. EPS cables, they all reach. Yep. You, you're probably going from AM4 to AM5 don't technically need a reinstall of Windows, but they are completely different platforms with different chipsets. I would reinstall Windows if I was doing it. Mm -hmm. 
I'll change motherboards if it's within the same generation or same generalized chipset. Like I'd go from a B450 to a B550 without reinstalling Windows, but I wouldn't go to a B650 because it's a different it's a different Correct. socket. Yep, I understand. And going from DDR4 to DDR5, and there's just too many new things. Correct. So you one million percent should just upgrade your CPU in place. And to everybody else watching, please, if you own a 1000, 2000, or 3000 series Ryzen, the Ryzen 7 5700X has been regularly available for $170 to $190, yep. depending on when you're watching this. You can sell your current chip for anywhere between $50 to $100, depending on what you have. Yep. So for anywhere between 100 actually maybe even just 80 anywhere between 80 to 120 bucks you can refresh your computer and get a nice bump to performance and buy yourself maybe another two years of good use out of your machine and make it feel like it did when it was first new intel doesn't let you do that nope so that's pretty cool now to answer the question should he get a 5800x 3d If you can find one on sale or a deal, I wouldn't mind. There was a Prime Day deal recently where they were down to like $259. And at $259, I would say, yes, absolutely take one. At the time we're recording this, they're $330 again. Well, remember, Prime Day is coming up in October. There's a Prime Day coming up in October, and you might consider watching out for that. But that's still two months away if we're recording this. That's true. If you can get it for like $260, $280... It is faster. He is. He does have a 165 hertz monitor. He does. It does give him a little bit more oomph. It's triple the L3 cache, which is nice. Yep. But at the same time, if you can find the 5700X for 180 bucks, and it's $150 cheaper than the 3D chip, mm-hmm. the 3D chip is not worth $150 more. Yeah. But 100 bucks. On the fence. Marginal on the hundred. If it's less than 100 difference, do That's, it. That's, okay. Got if it. it's 80, I would do the 3D chip all day long. It's okay. totally worth 80. It is not worth 150, your choice in between. The bigger question is, should he buy a Ryzen 9 instead of a Ryzen 7? He wants oh. to play Starfield, Phantom Liberty, and Baldur's Gate 3. He's playing AAA games. He has a high refresh rate monitor. I was actually wondering that. I and would almost argue, good. He's got the 6800. He's got a very good video card. Yeah. You've got a great video card. You can currently find the Ryzen 9 5900X for about 330, same price as the 5800X 3D. Now, it does have the downside of being two six core chips instead of one eight core chip. That's true. However, it has double the L3 cache and it has almost as much L3 cache as the 3D chip. So take the 5700X as L3 cache and double it because yeah. it's two of them. That's true. It does take two cores off, but it adds six over here. True. I would take a 5900X over a 5700X. And if you're going to pay $330. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well. Now, if he had a 240 hertz monitor or 360, I would say get the 3D chip. 165, Zen 3 handles 165. You don't need the 3D chip for 165. And his graphics card isn't fast enough to really use the 3D chip all that well. If he had a 4080 or 4090, then it might run. But 
Gotcha. So is generalized advice, the 5700X is the best deal? The 5900X is worth looking at? Yep. And at the time we're recording, the 5950X is not worth it because it's still $550. Yeah. And it is not worth an additional $220 for four more cores at that point. It just, if the 5950X would have to be like 430. Oh, okay. Or 400, and then I'd be interested. He could look for a used one. He could. You never know. You, you never might know. find a used one. So that's my advice. Adam, thank you for the question and the support.